a beam eight, drum in the three pound seven, division. So that would be a great five, I, th I think that's four, probably accurate. Three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Tottenham's got that uh, kind of control bot, those extremely long forks uh, from a control bot, and that overhead attack saw. But that saw is not powered up. No, is just, the saw running, Kyle? I'm not sure. We can see that the arm is functioning, but I'm not sure if the arm or the, uh, the weapon is actually functioning. We might be stuck with aggressive tapping only at this point. And look, we've got a, we've got oh. some very similar looking foam in there. Wow. It is a foamy mini bot. Look at this aggressive tapping. You can see the damage on Voxel's bottom plate there from those aggressive taps from Tothic. AKA too thick. Yeah, and the weapon on Tothic hasn't been running at all. No, just the arm. They, they can deliver the hits. There's just no uh, actual damage being done by them. I will say that even though they're down a weapon, I have to uh, give it up to the pluck of uh, Tothic. Look at these I mean, like They are not taps. afraid about going straight in and trying to rack up control points. They're scratching that bottom plate. Just scratching it all up with those aggressive taps. And Voxel taking out some aggression on that mini bot. Now we see Voxel uh, regaining some control of this fight. And finally, they are right side up in this fight. This is the first time since the very beginning that they've been right side up. And now they're upside down again. Wow. If you're a fan of Voxel, they're selling Voxel shirts uh, out at the merch table. It's a really cool design. Yeah, it's it a really great is. graphic design. I love it when a team goes that extra mile. This Of the 27 fights that Voxel has had this year, only seven of them have gone to a judge's decision. Man, those forks are so long on Tothic. Now, Tothic trying to get a good angle for yet more aggressive tap. Ooh, they missed with that aggressive tap right That's there. That's another good pin uh, from Tothic on Voxel. Now, they're allowed to hold those pins for 10 seconds at a time, and then they have to let go or they get disqualified. But pinning is good on multiple levels. You get control points and aggression points from the judges, and you also just immobilize your opponent and don't allow them to do any damage to you for that portion of the fight. 15 seconds left here in this fight. Looks like this one will go to the judges. We're gonna have to update that stat, Gil. Out of 28 fights, eight of them have gone to the judges, Kyle. <laughs> Three, two, one. That's the match. Turn off your weapon, Voxel. Drive to the door. This one goes to the judges. Now that one was closer than I was anticipating because we had fully uh, operational weapon, fully operational drive, but not a lot of control from Voxel. And even though Tothic was down a weapon, it was able to shove its opponent around the box and really control where Voxel was, uh, was going to be. It kept Voxel upside down almost that entire match. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, I wonder, uh, I wonder how the judges are going to take a look at this. All right, uh, while they're delivering, Katie's got something interesting. Uh, let's kick it over to, uh, to Katie. And that is because this is Shredder Bro. They look a little cool, calm, and collected there. Uh, they say they're ready to go. They're ready to get back into it. They had a drive motor uh, that was kind of acting up, and they have that all fixed. Meanwhile, City Pro here, or City Bolt here, you can see the remnants, but I want to point <laughs> this thing out, guys. Here. Oh, wow. That Whoa. is the original after the dragon princess oh, fire. No. But don't worry. They have City Bolt back out there as a rebuilt bot. That's going to be really excited to see them. They thrashed and dashed to get that thing together. Meanwhile, over here with Brandon, and he has a 12 pound and a 30 pound, you can see that uh, phenomenon is good. They changed the battery, and it should be good to go. But he's working on Demogorgon, and it's a 12, 12 pounder and those wheels got eaten by his neighbor, Billy. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, like a little bit check of, oh my out. goodness. Yeah, check yep. that right up. Friends and, and enemies here, sharing, sharing some things, and Billy, as we can see, a little close up, 
Jonathan's eating some pizza, but as you kind of look in there, he has an eye patch. He oh, has a hat. No. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, it's Pirate Billy. Are I you looking forward to your next silly. match? <laughs> We're fueling up. It's all about pizza and robots over here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, awesome. Just described by childhood. <laughs> it's all about pizza and robots. <laughs> and eye patches. Yeah, I, yeah pirates, ninjas. <laughs> you get it, get it all. All right, we're going to go over to the judges. I'm sure Matt Spurk likes the uh, the eye patch on, uh, oh, on yeah. Billy. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, Billy wins his next match. I don't know who he's fighting, but he automatically wins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. There team, might be so. some uh, some disqualifying there for this judge <laughs> for the next match. Just saying. All right. That's a pretty decisive win for Tofik, which advances. Uh, There's no and decimal there, Luke. 